Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to file a DMCA takedown notice with Namecheap. Another title for this video could be what to do when you find out that a website is stealing all of your intellectual property. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. Unfortunately, I've become a bit of an expert on how to do this over the last handful of years. So here's one of my original articles, five ways to work with PDFs in Google Drive. And I found this really scuzzy website called worldnew5.com that is republishing my articles in their entirety, including ones that have pictures of me in them, again, without my permission, and they're running advertising against it. You can see that they have done this with dozens of my articles, including this one here. Again, a nice picture of myself. Uh, some of my favorite ones that they reuse are the ones that, again, have pictures of me in them or pictures that are very specific to me, like this one that I took right by my house and has this little picture here that really no one else would typically have. So anyway, I go through and I make this big list of all of the URLs that include infringements like this one. And I wrote it all up in a Google document. And if you want a copy of this, you want a template for filing your own DMCA takedown notice, I'll be happy to share this with you. Just email me, I'll share it with you. All right, so you write out all the URLs that are yours, that are your original work, and all the infringing URLs like these here. And you wanna digitally sign it and then save it as a PDF, as you can see I've done right here. I've saved this as a PDF. Again, you can do this in Google Docs, Word, Apple Pages, doesn't matter. Whatever Word document program you wanna use is fine. Save it as a PDF. Now, how do you find out who the heck is hosting this website? So what I did is I used GoDaddy's Who Is Database Lookup. I put in the domain, and sure enough, we find out that it's hosted by Namecheap Hosting. So we then go to Namecheap and their support page where you fill out a ticket to share and file your complaint. So I'm gonna fill this out, there's my name, put in my email address, and I get all the infringing URLs. So this is why it's handy to put it all into a document in advance and just copy all these. There we are, copy them all. And we now paste them in as the infringing URLs. Next, you guessed it, take all the URLs of your original work, in this case here, here's all mine. Highlight it, copy them, and we paste it over here. Now, fill out the other information here and say that, yes, I'm doing this in good faith. And you'll want to sign it, right? So you sign it in. And now this is where I'm going to attach that file, that PDF, because I want to show proof of this. So I have my PDF that I've written out. Oops. And I'm going to fill in here, DMCA takedown request. And I'm going to fill in the information that I've already written up here. And we'll fill that in. And sign it, prove I'm not a robot, submit it. And we then wait for Namecheap to hopefully take some action. Now I've had some pretty good success over the years with Namecheap actually taking action and suspending the accounts of websites that they're hosting that are doing the activity that I have mentioned here. So that's how you can file a DMCA takedown request with Namecheap. The process is very similar for pretty much 
any web hosting company that's hosting content that infringes on your copyright rights and your intellectual property. I've written about this and I've talked about it on my YouTube channel in the past, so check out my YouTube channel for more things about copyright or visit freetechforteachers.com for some writing about this very issue.